back, fellow explorers, to exploring our Earth. In this five-day itinerary, we're venturing to the mesmerizing island of Sicily, a Mediterranean gem, a place where history, culture, and nature unite in perfect harmony. If you're ready to delve into ancient mysteries, savor mouth-watering cuisine, and witness breathtaking landscapes, then join us as we uncover the hidden treasures of Sicily. This video is part of our captivating series throughout Italy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because this adventure is about to begin. Getting to Sicily can be achieved through various travel options based on your starting point and preferences. For those arriving from abroad, the Catania Fontana Rosa Airport, CTA, and Palermo Airport, PMO, serve as primary gateways to the island. Both airports offer numerous international connections, and from there, you can choose to rent a car or use the efficient public transportation system to explore the island. If you're traveling from mainland Italy, you have the option of a ferry from southern Italian ports such as Naples, Reggio Calabria, and Villa San Giovanni to various Sicilian destinations. Sicily is also accessible by train, allowing you to experience a seamless railway-ferry combination from cities like Naples or Reggio Calabria. Getting around Sicily does require some planning in advance. There is a network of buses and trains connecting major cities and towns. Trains are a good option for longer distances between cities, while buses are suitable for shorter routes. Alternatively, renting a car gives you the flexibility to explore Sicily at your own pace. Check out the description box for more information and helpful links. Day one starts with two charming towns on the western coast of Sicily, Marsala and Trapani. Marsala is internationally known for the sweet wine that bears its name. This beautiful city has a charm and history that will draw you in and leave you wanting more. We start our adventures with a visit to a local winery to taste Marsala wine. Check out the description box for recommended tours. Taking a tour is a great way to learn about its significance to the region's culture and taste gourmet Sicilian foods accompanied by fine wines from the region. The second half of the day, take a 35-minute journey by train or car to Trapani. Trapani is a charming coastal town known for its historic significance, beautiful architecture, and its proximity to the famous salt pans. First, take a guided tour of the Saline di Trapani e Pacheco and the Salt Museum. These salt flats have been in operation for centuries and offer a unique and picturesque landscape. You can also learn about the traditional salt production process. The museum is family-run in a 17th century mill with guided tours on the history of sea salt harvesting. Next, explore the historic center of Trapani with its charming old streets, colorful buildings, and quaint squares. The Corso Vittorio Emanuele is a vibrant street lined with shops, cafes, and restaurants. Trapani boasts several beautiful churches, including the Basilica Sanctuary of Maria Santissima Annunziata, the Church of Sant'Agostino, and the Cathedral of San Lorenzo. These religious buildings feature stunning architecture and artwork. If time permits, take a cable car ride up to the hilltop town of Derice, which offers breathtaking panoramic views of the region. Derice is known for its medieval streets, historic sites, and the Venus Castle. As the sunsets end, your day with a leisurely walk along Trapani's seafront promenade. Enjoy views of the sea and the Egadi Islands in the distance. Choose a seaside restaurant in Trapani for fresh seafood and regional specialties. Day 2 starts off exploring the island's vibrant capital, Palermo. Palermo is about an hour bus ride from Trapani. This city offers something for everyone, whether you're interested in history, architecture, culture, or food. The best way to get around is by foot. This allows you to get lost in the tight-knit streets and discover hidden gems along the way. Palermo is recognized as the most conquered city in history, and it boasts Europe's second-largest historical center. 
we start our adventures at the Norman Palace and the Palatine Chapel. After conquering Sicily in 1072, the Norman kings used the palace as their main residence. To put their stamp on it, they transformed the Arabian Palace into a more multifunctional complex with administrative and residential functions. The Palatine Chapel is the royal chapel of the Norman Palace. The building has a mixture of Byzantine, Norman, and Fatimid architectural styles, showing the tricultural state of Sicily during the 12th century after Roger I and Robert Guiscard conquered the island. Don't miss the chance to visit the Giardini Reali di Palermo, a beautiful garden located at the rear of the palace. Take a short walk to Villa Bonanno, a park with wide concrete paths passing between little islands of tall palm trees. It's a great place to relax and enjoy the ambiance. Next stop for lunch, we highly recommend visiting Palermo's bustling markets of Capo, Ballero, and Vuciria. Here you can indulge in heavenly arancini, crispy croce, and finish off with cannoli. Once you're fueled up, head to the Palermo Cathedral, a true gem of Sicilian history and architecture. With origins dating back to the 12th century under Norman rule, it stands as a testament to the confluence of Norman, Arabic, and Gothic influences. The cathedral's graceful arches reveal its Arab-Norman roots, while its Gothic interior showcases the artistic evolution over the centuries. The interior dazzles with Byzantine-style mosaics depicting biblical tales and various chapels dedicated to saints. The treasury holds an impressive collection of religious artifacts, and the rooftop offers panoramic views of Palermo. Next, take a 15-minute walk to Antonino Salinas Regional Archaeological Museum, where you can immerse yourself in one of the richest collections of Punic and ancient Greek art in Italy, as well as many items related to the history of Sicily. Those seeking something a little more macabre can visit the Catacomb dei Cappuccini, located deep underneath the city. The catacombs are filled with mummies, skeletons, and corpses. As the day draws to a close, enjoy a leisurely walk in the beautiful Foro Italico. This park not only offers captivating views of the Mediterranean Sea, but also boasts an array of historic monuments and sculptures, adding to its timeless charm. For dinner, we recommend trying Pablo's, an absolute gem in Palermo, offering authentic Sicilian dishes and a beautiful atmosphere. After dinner, try catching a show at the Massimo Theatre. It's the largest opera house in Italy, renowned for its excellent acoustics, and is the best spot for a night of Sicilian opera. Day 3. We swap the city for a picturesque coastal town, Cefalu, offering a variety of attractions and activities for travelers to enjoy. It's about an hour train ride from Palermo, where you can fully experience your Sicilian dream, unwinding beneath colorful beach umbrellas and enjoying the warm waters. When you're not down at the beach, take a walk through the town's charming cobbled streets and immerse yourself in the local culture while admiring the charming architecture and exploring local shops and lovely cafes. Be sure to stop by the Cefalu Cathedral, a UNESCO World Heritage Site renowned for its Norman architecture and exquisite mosaics. And don't forget to climb the towers for panoramic views. Next, take a two-minute walk to the Museo Mandralisca and delve into art, archaeology, and natural history. You won't want to miss the chance to see the renowned Portrait of an Unknown Man by Antonello da Messina while you're here. If you're up for an adventure, hike up La Roca, a rocky hill that overlooks the town. There are even some exciting stops along the way, like the Temple of Diana dating back to the 4th century BC. The climb is rewarded with awe-inspiring vistas and the beautiful coastline. Take a break for some lunch in the quaint Piazza Garibaldi. Enjoy a Negroni and take in the lovely ambiance. Another spot worth visiting is the Lavatoio. This public laundry is a fascinating step back in time when women gathered to wash their clothing in a series of giant basins. For dinner, we recommend La Botte, which offers a great atmosphere, delicious food, and friendly service. Day 4 begins with a visit to the magnificent Mount Etna, one of Italy's most iconic natural wonders. This active stratovolcano is nestled in eastern Sicily, surrounded by picturesque mountains and charming villages. To fully appreciate its grandeur, 
consider an early morning hike to one of its craters, where you can witness the breathtaking sunrise. Hiking the volcano in the early hours not only allows you to avoid the crowds, but also provides you with a unique opportunity to learn about the geological history and formation of this colossal natural landmark. Consider joining a guided tour of Mount Etna as it will provide you with an informative and safe way to explore the volcano. In the afternoon, set your sights on Catania, a city with a distinctive charm deeply influenced by its history, particularly the Black Baroque, an architectural style inspired by the city's volcanic past. Start your exploration at the Piazza del Duomo, a busy and lively area with bars and cafes and restaurants. You won't want to miss the chance to visit the famous La Pescaria Fish Market, where you can witness the catch of the day before venturing to one of the nearby seafood restaurants to savor the finest local flavors prepared with passion and tradition. Next stop, by the Basilica Cattedrale di Sant'Agata, this Baroque-style church is a must-visit to see the beautiful frescoes and paintings. The terrace is open to the public and offers 360-degree breathtaking panoramas. The piazza also houses the Fountain of the Elephant, a symbol of the city long before it was officially put on the map. The elephant statue is intricately carved from cooled lava, carrying an Egyptian obelisk on its back, believed to bring good fortune. Continue your journey through the city's intriguing historical sites, including Ursino Castle and the Monastero dei Benedettini, each showcasing Catania's rich heritage. For those with an interest in culture, the city frequently hosts a variety of events, providing you with an opportunity to immerse yourself in Sicily's artistic scene. Day 5, your last day in Sicily, is all about exploring the UNESCO World Heritage-listed Val di Noto, a region filled with charming towns, each boasting its own unique history and attractions. From Catania, take an hour journey to Noto, a charming town in southeastern Sicily, with a captivating blend of influences from its iconic Baroque architecture reflecting the aftermath of the 1693 earthquake to its rich Sicilian cultural traditions, historical heritage encompassing Greek and Roman legacies, and vibrant religious festivals, all set against the backdrop of the region's stunning natural landscapes. Start the day at the magnificent Noto Cathedral, Basilica di San Nicolò, a prime example of Sicilian Baroque. Inside the church, you'll find a richly decorated interior with exquisite frescoes, stucco work, and ornamental details. The central nave is adorned with a stunning Baroque altar and numerous religious artworks. Close by is the Palazzo Nicolacci, built in the 18th century. It's a testament to the opulence and grandeur of the Baroque era. The palace is known for its striking facade with intricate stucco work, decorative elements, and ornate balconies. Take a four-minute walk to explore the Chiesa di San Domenico, a stunning church famous for its beautiful chapels, altars, and ornate frescoes. Don't forget to savor some local Sicilian cuisine at one of the charming cafes or restaurants in the town. Next, take a 40-minute journey to Modica, another enchanting town known for its chocolate and Baroque architecture. Visit one of Modica's historic chocolate shops, the Antica Dolceria Bonahuto is a chocolate factory founded in 1880, known to be the oldest in Sicily and one of the oldest in Italy. The chocolate is crafted from an ancient Aztec recipe. Next, explore the stunning Cathedral of San Giorgio, a masterpiece of Sicilian Baroque architecture. It also offers panoramic views. Continue your journey to Ragusa, a town known for its diverse architectural styles and lush gardens. Spend time at Giardino Ibleo, a peaceful public garden with fountains, walking paths, and beautiful views of the surrounding valley. Discover Ragusa's historical district, Ibla, with its picturesque streets, churches, and palaces. If time permits, stop by the Duomo di San Giorgio in Ibla. It's one of the most important examples of Baroque architecture in Sicily. End your day with a relaxing dinner at a local restaurant in Ragusa. We recommend 
trying Ristorante Locanda Don Serafino, Relay Emp Chateau. Here you can sample authentic Sicilian dishes like Scaccia Ragusana. As your unforgettable journey through Sicily comes to an end, we hope it has inspired you for your next adventures and left you eager for more discoveries. Don't forget to subscribe to Exploring Our Earth for more exciting travel content. And be sure to hit that like button if you found this video informative. Check out the description box for more information and helpful links. Until our next journey, keep exploring the beauty of our world. Safe travels.